How much is that dog in the window? <laughs> the one with the one. Well, welcome to Age Valley to all you new folks out there. We had a lot of new sign-ups in the last week. I was very impressed. Yep, so uh, welcome to you guys. We have a and Russell, uh, Russell P. Signed up as a club member. I got to reach out to Russell because I can't find him on the uh, on the club membership deal. We owe you a shirt, an embroidered shirt for signing up for that year. Uh, you need to pick a shirt out and choose a club level, yeah. uh, which is a weightlifting level, combo level, and we're going to send you a shirt. Get a hold of us. And my buddy Steve O'Brien, uh, make sure you tell Tom Beach Gill that I said hi. And uh, thanks for joining, man. It's kind of cool. Oh, I gotta say welcome to Shannon too. I met her at the watery trough at one of my uh, daughter's friend's birthday party. You're gonna get her back into back into the gym and fitness. Oh, and then Mike Frederick. I haven't seen you in a while either, man. How's the bass playing going? We want everybody to come up with a logo for a shirt. Slogan. A slogan for the shirt. Not a logo, a, a slogan for a shirt. And what we're gonna do, we have a team of experts that are going to vote on the best logo. Slogan. Slogan. <laughs> Whoever, and then, <laughs> This, uh, the, then this team of experts is going to pick out the best slogan, and we will give that person $100 and a free T-shirt. And that closes the end of uh, July. The end of July? Competition's over. It, let's make it uh, August the 6th. Well, at the Dexter Jackson Show? What, well, you yeah. want to announce the winner at the Dexter Jackson Show? Yeah, that's what we do. All right, we're going to be at the Dexter Jackson Show in Jackson, Dexter Jackson Classic in Jacksonville, Bodybuilding 202. Uh, fitness pro, fit, figure, all that other stuff, you know. Anyway, we'll be there at our booth trying to act normal. Act normal? Yeah, for us. <clears throat> Sophie, uh, the little uh, chihuahua, the manager of the gym has a little chihuahua that I befriended. I wanted to befriend her because the first time I saw her, she bit Sam in the face and <laughs> ripped his nose apart. <laughs> I said, I'm going to get to know that dog. So I've been feeding her treats for six months, and now she loves me. I always said, if you give a woman lots of treats, they love you. And that's it? That's it. She did tear my face up. Yeah, she did. That was so I was, she was giving me kisses, and then out of the clear blue, just... <laughs> and my face was all bloody and was left a scar on well, my nose. It was funny then, it's funny now. It's like, it wasn't <laughs> funny when I dropped the weight on my toe, either. Sick. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be doing uh, leg get, extensions? Yeah, we're going to do leg extensions today. That came from a conversation you and I had last week. Yeah. Basically, um, my theory, I think that you should squat heavy, and then your um, exercises that you do on leg day, you do your squats, you lift heavy. Uh, I'm going to say maybe once a month do a single, and then five sets of five, 80% of your one rep max, that type thing. And then the exercises that you do, this is if you want to get big. I'm talking about you know bodybuilding, mass. Big, mass. You want to do reps like when your leg extensions, your leg curls, and everything. And it's also important uh, if you have an injury or something like that. There's a way to work around your injuries when you do these, and and I'll and I'll explain that when we do the exercise. But um, it's it's important stuff. And actually, I'd like to get some feedback on it, see if anybody uh, has a better idea. Or, and if you want to say I'm stupid, then you know. Well, everybody says that anyway. Well, I'm after mass on my thighs. My thighs, we've been squatting a lot. We're squatting up to 500 pounds. And I was uh, suggesting that we're changing our workout next week. We're going to a seven set yeah. workout. We're going to do five uh, heavy and two heavy, two lot of reps. And I was saying on squats, you know, we do more reps so I can get more leg size. And Sam's feeling is focus on leg extensions and leg curls for the hammies. Uh, really focus on yeah. the muscle while you're doing and it. And hip abduction and adduction. Yeah, but I'm really talking, I yeah. understand that, but for the mass, for yeah. my thighs, i got to work on it. And that was his, his advice. So if anybody has anything else to say, get back to us. We'd love to hear it. Now, you can still squat and do reps, but the thing of it is is that you want to keep your strength up, and that's why you want to you squat heavy. That way you have some strength for when you are doing these other exercises to go along with it. You don't want to lose your strength. Right. And a lot of bodybuilders, I mean, they can crank out some some reps and reps and reps, and um, but down the road they're progressively going to start losing some of their strength and right. by not squatting. I'm ready it. to go do the exercise now. So anyway, <laughs> all right, Bob, let's go do them legs. All right, man. Yeah, these are oh. el these are elbow pads, by the way. It's for when I'm begging Michelle. And yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't want to see I don't want to see you in a wheelchair. All right, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Thank you.
The exercise that we're going to demonstrate is leg extensions. And again, like what we said, this is an isolation movement. You want to do a lot of reps on these if you want mass. If you go too heavy, it's going to put a lot of stress on your knees. So actually, this is one of them exercises you don't want to go real, real heavy. But Bob is demonstrating how to do the exercise. See, he's coming back as far as he can, locking it out. And some people say, don't lock it out. It's bullshit. Lock it out. You want to lock out your legs. You want to flex your quads, quadriceps, your thighs. And the reason they're called quadriceps is that you have four muscles there. Quad four. So now, what? let's say you have an injury and Bob hurt his left leg here. And he can't lift as much weight with, with this leg as he can his right. You don't want to do them both together because what's going to happen is one of your legs is going to get bigger than the other. So you want to use the same amount of weight and crank out your reps with this leg and that leg. Again, this leg is hurt and this leg is not hurt and he can lift more weight with that with that one. Let's say Bob cranks out all of his reps with uh, the light weight with his bad leg and then he comes over here and goes as heavy as he can on it with his right leg. Guess what's going to happen? He's going to have a skinny leg and a big fat leg. Now who in the heck wants that? So even though it's it's easy for him to do this the weight with the right leg versus the left leg, that's what he's going to do because what will happen is they'll look the same. Bob has good definition here and you can see all four heads of the quadricep being worked. And you only want to do sing single legs if you have an injury because the reason why is that your good leg is going to take the stress. You can even do partial. Yeah, that's true. Right I'm not shaving, Sam. <laughs> I'll try to talk, talk Bob into shaving because when we do these videos, people can see what the heck we're talking about. But. His wife won't let him. <laughs> His wife won't let him get a tattoo either. <laughs> I'm done. I'll see you up front. Be good. How's your neck? You're supposed to use your legs. No, I got a mole right there. Oh, damn. <laughs> but anyway, oh, again, now that we're back from doing our anyway, leg extensions, gay word. um, I'll tell you what, the, the heavy squats before we did our leg extensions, whew, man, I'm just that telling works, you. Man. Hey, uh, Trainer's Corner, I'm finishing up the outline, the introduction for our Trainer's Corner finally. Uh, the instructions are going to be going up. We're looking for graphics to put on it. We're going to run a beta on it, which is going to be closed. But anybody that wants to test out the Trainer's Corner, let us know. Um, it'll be good information in there for trainers. Um, is a way for trainers to make income by utilizing the trainer's corner, which again will be accessible to the trainers. So, uh, hoping to have, I'm not going to say this week, but the end of next week, have that up so that you can actually get in there and take a look at what it's really all about. Well, the other advice when you're doing uh, your squats before you do your leg extensions, what I always do is I use Preparation H before I have the problem. That, and that, for some reason, that kind of helps out a little bit. You're supposed to put it on your ass, though, not on your knees. I inject it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Maybe we'll see you next week if we're still here. And back Peace. to Ecuador again. Don't forget, Dexter Peace. Jackson Classic, and August 5th and 6th. What is it? 5th and 6th, August. What is it? Dexter Jackson Classic. In Dude. Jacksonville, Florida? Yes, sir. Hasta. Peace. Sam's new knee pads for when he goes to jail? Yeah, right. Door. I'm not going to jail. What do you want me to talk about? Talk about your business. Oh, my little doggy. And my... I'll that in. Hey, oh. we're back from doing leg extensions. You notice I haven't moved. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you didn't. Are we ready? Anyway, Bob just farted. Raise your nipples up so I can paint underneath him. Bob took my damn knee pads. I don't even want them back now. 
Makeup. <clears throat> Say good morning, Sam. Good morning. Sam. Are we on now? Yeah, we're on. Hey, I'm Sam. Bob. This is Bob. Um, I know I look a little bummed out today. It's uh, my 18-year-old mutt, Snoopy. I have to put him to sleep today. So everybody at the house is upset. That happens. Especially Vic. So, uh, light a candle can for we, Can we not start out with that? No. Because that's really depressing. I don't mean to bum everybody out. My but, dog's I mean, gonna die! I, can, I know. <laughs> I feel bad for Snoop. I know Snoop. He's got I know, a strange, I know. strange ass anyway. Poor dog. <laughs> The dog he does has the look, weirdest ass that sticks way up. It, what's funny is when he's taking his shit, it looks like <laughs> it looks like a board. And like a something's coming out of I mean it just I don't know, I can't explain it. <laughs> oh you miss that shit, that's for sure. The neighbors will. Because I'm serious people stop their cars and, and watch him. Because they're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's retarded.